good morning children good morning once again this is our seventh section in evs subject evs means what evs means environmental science subject this class is for standard 1 a1 and a2 section wear your headset be ready to listen to the class have you all bought the books if not you buy it okay first we pray let's pray heavenly father thank you for your love care and guidance give us the knowledge to study our lessons amen okay first we recall what we studied in the last class we studied about parts of the body external and internal parts third point is paired part and fourth point is sense organs first one is first point is parts of the body second point is external and internal parts third point is paired parts fourth point is sense organ in that sense organ we studied about eyes ears now eyes ears and tongue we studied the last week and this week we are going to study about the nose and skin okay shall we start now okay now take out your book take page number 83 page number 83 our nose can sense different type of smell our nose can smell different kinds of kinds of smell whether it is a good smell or it is a bad smell what are the smell you like what are the smell you don't like see the flowers can smell a sweet smell but if the food get spoiled that smell is very awkward we cannot smell it so there are two types of smell good smell and a bad smell whatever smell whether it is sweet whether it is so whether it is bitter we can smell the thing also close your eyes with a cloth and ask your friend to keep something in his hand and you smell it you can smell and say the flower smell and smell you can identify the food smell you can identify the dirty smock socks smell you can identify a clean dresses or you can identify the dirty dresses smells are different from anything okay now you can see a dog sitting below a dog sense of smell is 40 times greater than that of a human see our human can smell very very nicely whether it is good smell or it is bad smell we can smell see you can see a blind person person blind person those who cannot see they can smell and identify the person but here it is given the dog's sense is more smells more 40 times greater than a human then see the dog smells it can smell 40 times more than a human god has given that capacity for a dog okay we can see by touching feeling okay feeling is a sense touching or feeling skin is a sense organ now we are going to touch and feel we studied about nose now we are going to touch feel the plants and the small soil if you touch a plant what will happen if the thorns are there it will poke you it is a hard it is hard 
if you touch a flower it will be soft if you touch a wood it will be hard touch the tree trunk it is it will be very very hard what are the thing, things you like to touch you can like to touch a bread it will be very soft if you want to touch a hot water it will be hot whatever you touch you can feel the pain or the softness or the hardness the five sense organs are eyes ears nose tongue and skin with our eyes we can see everything around us with our ear we can hear different kinds of sound with our nose we can smell all kinds of smell with our tongue we can taste everything whether it is sweet bitter salty or sour and with our finger we can feel with our skin we can feel if you touch hard or hard hard or soft material you can feel it what are the five sense organs eyes ears nose tongue and skin okay now turn the page page number 84 page number 84 there you can see a small story one girl name is mala this is mala she wakes up early in the morning this is a germ mala cannot see the germ it is very small the germ is very small germ is waiting to get inside mala's body after getting up we will have more germs in our body the body the sorry the germ is waiting to get inside mala's body mala brushes her teeth mala takes a bath the soap attacks the germ now mala is clean and happy germs become sad mala goes to the school in the school mala goes to the washroom mala does not wash her hand with soap so germ is very happy now the germ enters mala's nail mala is eating her lunch without cleaning her hands or without using a soap to wash her hand mala is eating her lunch now the germ goes into mala's stomach mala falls sick mala visit the doctor the doctor tells her to wash her hands with soap before eating and after using the restroom or the washroom the doctor gives mala medicines mala gets well now mala is happy from this what you understand children after getting up early in the morning immediately you should go to the washroom remove your bowels use your soap and water to wash your hands and the secret place clean with the soap and water clean it very nicely then wash your body take your bath cut your nails keep your body neat and clean if you keep your body neat and clean germs won't enter inside your body and the next one is while we use the restroom in the school or in the public places or if you go to the any function or anywhere else if you go to any restroom you should wash your hands with soap and water and the next one before eating you should wash your hands with soap and water to get rid of the germs then you will be fresh you don't need to go to the doctor 
you will always be happy okay now come to page number 85 in page number 85 you can see pictures of washing the hands and brushing the teeth we should keep our hands clean if we don't we will fall sick like mala let us learn how to wash our hands properly do it step by step look at the steps 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine steps are given look at the picture and wash your hands nicely like that okay first step is keeping the so soap or the anything okay you can use to wash your hand first step second step third look at all the steps and wash your hands like that next one how to brush our teeth we must brush our teeth twice a day how many times you must brush your teeth twice a day in a day you must brush your teeth in the morning and in the night let us learn the right way of brushing our teeth practice all these routines daily you must brush your teeth daily you must wash your hands look at the picture of brushing the teeth first step second third fourth fifth six how to brush your teeth with a brush look at the picture and learn it properly now turn the page come to page number 86 page number 86 healthy washroom routines healthy washroom routines after using the toilet or washroom wash your hands after using your toilet or washroom you should wash your hands see the pictures there first pour water come out wipe your feet wash your hands with the soap then wipe your hands whenever you go to the restroom after coming out you should wash your hands and wipe your hands then daily routine come down daily routine this picture shows our daily routine arrange them in sequences there are some circles given these are the things we do in our daily life as routine morning getting up washing our face brushing our teeth like that so you should arrange everything one boy is sitting and learning after getting up you should not learn but you have to fill how what to do first then a one boy is combing one boy is brushing okay now we will put the number in the circles the first circle number 2 then number 4 then number 1 then number 7 now below number 5 number 3 and number 6 see after getting up from the bed first thing you have to brush your teeth below that picture put number 1 after brushing everything the second one sitting and learning and the third one sitting and learning for 1 hour and the third one is taking bath fourth one is combing the hair fifth one is eating breakfast sixth one is going to school and seventh one again returning home and learning okay can you understand like this method you should put the numbers and next one put a tick mark to the things which help you to keep clean there are many things but you must put a tick which help you to keep you clean first one is soap soap help you to be clean yes put a tick there then sweet is there sweet keeps you clean eh no put the wrong there then towel is there towel keeps you clean so put a tick there next one is what is there tv is there it keeps you clean 
no so put wrong there next one toothbrush is there it keeps you clean or raw, dirty clean so put a dig there next one is bicycle wrong next one is comb and next one is nail cutter comb help you to comb your hair nail cutter help you to cut your nails so these two soap towel brush comb and nail cutter make you to be make you to be clean so tick in all these pictures soap towel brush comb and nail okay now come to the next page evaluation observe the picture and mark them based on the given instruction near the kite you see where do you see the kite kite you are seeing with your eyes eyes is a sense organ near the object which produce sound see one man is hoaring the horn it makes sound you can hear it with your ear near the object with the smell what you will smell you can smell the flower smell or you can smell the corn also what you buy and eat no that you will smell keep it near the nose and smell the corn smell and the flower smell next near the object which which are tasty tongue help us to taste when you eat the corn you can feel the taste near the object people touch with your finger you can touch and feel whether it is hard or soft this is the sense of the organs eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the five sense organ now turn the page turn the page some activity keep us healthy and some don't tick the activity that keeps us healthy and cross wrong that you don't many pictures are there one girl is skipping one boy is sneezing another two one boy and one girl is playing uh, Siza another boy is dig- digging the nose one boy is brushing his teeth one girl is combing the hair in these picture you must say which activity keeps us healthy skipping keeps us healthy put a tick there in the small box it is given next one boy is sneezing that is a bad habit that is a bad habit put a cross there next one boy one girl and one boy is playing seesaw put a tick there playing is a playing is a exercise so put a tick there next one boy is brushing his teeth sorry yes one boy is brushing his teeth one boy is digging the nose sorry children very very sorry once again i'll tell you the below picture one boy is digging the nose it's a bad habit so put a cross there next one boy is brushing the teeth it's a good habit it's a healthy habit put a tick there one girl is combing the hair it's a healthy habit put a tick there skipping playing brushing and combing keeps us healthy put a tick there one boy is sneezing another boy is digging the nose that is a bad habit put a cross in the box then come down self evaluation now you can learn you know the parts of the body you know the parts of the body from our head to the bottom did you all learn by looking at the picture in the book 
okay learn the parts of the body second one i can do many actions with my body with my head i can shake it with my hands i can do many works with my eyes i can see it with my nose i can smell everything with my tongue i can taste with my leg i can jump with my leg i can walk or i can run okay next one i practiced good habit to keep me clean how to keep you clean by using soap and water we must wash our hands and our body after going to the toilet or restroom or washroom uh, before eating and after eating you must use your soap and water to wash our hands then only no germs will get inside our body we will be healthy always i know the names of the sense organ what are the sense organ there are five sense organ eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the five sense organ okay children now lesson number 2 is also over by this one we can continue lesson 3 in the next week coming days we will we are going to study lesson number 1 and lesson number 2 question answers fill up missing letters uh, what is that spellings etc etc we are going to study by this week okay children you read all the pages spell and read each and every word keep your mother or father to help you learn everything learn everything learn everything don't sit quietly take out your book and learn dear parents please concentrate and make your child to learn everything thank you children thank you dear parents